Hey there, Power Players! Welcome back to Art of Nintendo Power! Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to take a look at these blind bag magazine packs from the Video Game History Foundation or GameHistory.org. If this is the first time you're hearing about the Video Game History Foundation, absolutely recommend you going to GameHistory.org and checking out their website. They are a genuine 501c3 nonprofit organization that benefits game preservation and our community. They do so many great things, and this is just one of many ways that you can support them. So the foundation has a really, really, really significant magazine archive, and with that, of course, comes a number of doubles. So they've decided to do these magazine blind bags so that, uh, you know, they can A, give you something that's a kind of a cool collectible, but then also uh, thin out their herd of, of uh, magazine doubles uh, and benefit the organization all at the same time. These are $20 a piece or you can save 25% by subscribing. The website details exactly what you'll find in these, but I sort of uh, intentionally didn't read through that so that I could be more surprised when uh, I open these. So I don't really know what is in these, um, and uh, we're gonna find out together. So I actually bought three of them. One of them I decided not to open, so we're gonna open two today. Uh, I decided based on weight, uh, these are the two heaviest of the three. That's the what I decided to uh, to use as my criteria for which ones we're going to open. So uh, without further ado, let's open these blind boxes. All right, here we go. So as you can see, this comes in this stylish black paper mailer. Uh, it's completely black and uh, just with the shipping label on it. So let's, oh, I have it. There are just rip cords here, so I can just do this. <laughs> Let's see what we get. We got a copy of Next Generation. This is the, uh, is there a date on here? Volume 22, October issue. Of course, they don't say what the year is. Why would they? But uh, they are touting PlayStation Saturn N64 PC CD-ROM Arcade 3DO M2 and uh, and online. Uh, that's obviously Miss Lara Croft there. And um, this is a it's actually a pretty heavy um, a pretty heavy uh, mylar with a certificate of authenticity, which says is it an envelope or is it just a card? I think it's just a card. So there is a, a, it's a, it's stickered in here with the uh, Video Game History Foundation logo. Cool embossed sticker. So this says, uh, Certificate of Authenticity. This certifies that the item included in this package is, genu is a genuine piece of video game history which has been deaccessioned, uh, which is a very fancy word for officially removed from the archive of the Video Game History Foundation. Occasionally, items like this are deaccessioned. Occasionally, items like this are deaccessioned when they are no longer needed or when we house a duplicate. All sales of deaccessioned items directly benefit the upkeep and growth of our collection. And it is signed by Frank and Kelsey of the Video Game History Foundation. The certificate itself is also embossed. This is a really nice certificate considering that it's a, uh, attached to a, <laughs> an issue of Next Generation. This is actually why I chose to uh, go by weight because um, I knew that the larger magazines that I definitely don't collect would have been heavier um, and I wanted to see something that I didn't necessarily, necessarily collect. All right, next one. Mm -hmm. I don't even need this. I came overly equipped. 
This is... Hey! Nice. We got ourselves a copy of Game Players. It's the July 1994 issue. I actually really love this art. Um, this is really cool. And again, same certificate. Uh, these are definitely hand signed because uh, these signatures are different. So, doot, doot. So yeah, uh, not a ton to this video. I just kind of wanted to, sh to open these and see what they were and show them to all of you. And now you can uh, make a decision as to whether or not uh, you want to subscribe or do a one-time $20 uh, fee for um, supporting the Game History Foundation and getting a fun magazine with a very cool, with a very cool certificate of authenticity on it. I kind of want to open this one. Let's do it. Let's open one. Well, I'll say one thing. You definitely can't, uh, the way that the sticker pulls, you definitely can't open it and reseal it. So if you're gonna open it, which is probably good from an authenticity standpoint, so if you are gonna open it, uh, you, there's no way you're gonna probably be able to get that sticker to settle down again. Oh, hey, look at that. Wow, that really bugs my eyes because they're small dots. This is, I gotta, I gotta hand it to them. They actually put some love into the certificate. Good job, Frank and Kelsey. Also, thank you for making me trip over the word deaccession a couple times. I had to look it up, not gonna lie. Barkley, shut up and jam. Some cool Mortal Kombat merch. Well, look at all these price guides, or not price guides, but like catalogs. Look at the Game Dude catalog. I don't know if you're familiar, if you're from LA, you'd probably know. Uh, Game Dude is a local store uh, that did have a, you know, I'm sure they probably do, they still do mail order, but for a long time they had a really, really, really significant mail order business. So you could actually order used games uh, out of the backs of magazines. And they apparently weren't the only ones. Look at this Boogerman ad. It's like, it spans all these pages. I love it. This is cool. Shadowrun. I love this game. It's great for the Genesis and for the uh, for the Super Nintendo, but this one is the Genesis. Spike McFang. Awesome. Star Tropics 2. Am I the only one who generally flips through their magazines backwards? Do you uh, also do that? You should tell me in the comments which way you flip through your magazines. Because I definitely, out of force of habit, flip through magazines backwards. Oof. Wing Commander. They have Wing Commander in 82? That's Wing Commander for the Super... Oh, uh, Wing Commander for the Sega CD. Ah, all right. Okay, now I know that someone's pulling their chain. They gave Echoes of the Past <laughs> for the Genesis in 81. Come on now, come on. It's not an 81 game. Streets of Rage 3 in 90. Saturday Night Slam Masters. Dracula Unleashed. 
So I don't know enough about the Sega CD. Let me tell you about Rebel Assault though. Rebel Assault's one of my favorite games. Uh, it's a absolutely guilt guilty pleasure. I understand that it's not the best game and it's mostly just a rail shooter, but uh, hey, we were talking about Clay Fighter tonight. This is not the Clay Fighter ad that I was looking for, but I was looking for a Clay Fighter ad. Ooh, Sega CD product of the year for, the thunder, for Thunderstrike. Jungle Book. Is this just like, is this a Genesis publication? I don't know anything about, oh, so now it's a second Nintendo. I don't know anything about game players. It just seems that most of the stuff that's being reviewed here is Genesis, if not everything. Sega CD. Asterix, Genesis. Mario Andretti Racing. God, what a great, uh, what a great Earthworm Gem image. That's one I wouldn't mind owning. Made by Playmates Interactive. How did I not know that? That's interesting. I don't know how entertaining it is watching me flip through a magazine, but uh, but I'm doing it, and this is my channel, so uh, take that, people. <laughs> um, mostly I like flipping through old publications for ads. Well, old publications that aren't Nintendo Power. Nintendo Power, I'm obviously a little bit more invested in. <laughs> God, look at this beautiful art. Look at this Super Metroid, jeez. Somebody really took time on that. I love um, reader submitted art. I actually have some reader submitted art that, that I'll, I'm gonna do a video on, but uh, for Nintendo Power, I have some, uh, some actual envelope art from kids. Um, I think that will be a, that'll be a fun video. Yeah, there you go. I've now flipped through the entire magazine backwards. Uh, I'm not going to do them both, especially since that uh, next that next generation is huge. Um, but uh, but yeah, now you have a pretty good idea of what uh, you'll be getting if you get one of these uh, blind boxes from the Video Game History Foundation. All right, that's going to about do it for this episode of Art of Nintendo Power. Uh, I know this was a little bit different. I hope you enjoyed it. And like I said, if this interests you, or honestly, if you just want to give to a good cause that supports our community, uh, go to GameHistory.org and pick pick yourself up a blind box, or you can just give them money. Or there's all sorts of merch from beanies like you saw on my Ninja Turtles video that I was wearing, uh, all the way to, I think they have socks. So uh, yeah, plenty of things, plenty of ways to support uh, the Video Game History Foundation. Please check them out. And we will see you next time on Art of Nintendo Power. Thanks.